All right, you two people. What we have here is a Samsung front load, although it's hard to tell, but it's a front load washer machine. All right. This unit was purchased brand new about 2012, I believe, when I did the research. Uh, it started to get out of balance and therefore we get stuck in the spin cycle and then shut itself down, recalculate, and then turn a few times and then start spinning again and again shutting itself down. I believe what it does is there's probably a sensor saying, hey, it's out of balance, maybe the clothes are in one area, so stop the spin cycle and uh, uh, just rotate a few times and uh, start it up again. Well, it would do this and it did this all night long and all of a sudden we smell this burning smell. Anyway, I went on to YouTube to find out what the problem was and apparently the problem I found dates back all the way back to 2006. Uh, a video I found all 2006. And what it is, is this is a housing unit or some type of a bracket that holds the spindle that actually rotates the drum. Alright? And what you have here is this actually is the housing unit that holds that spindle to the drum itself. This is a very inferior metal. Most likely, probably some type of zinc uh, product bolted to stainless steel. Now the problem, for those of you who don't understand what that means, is that you have a perfect storm of corrosion. Uh, when you have two dissimilar metals bolted next bolted together, you have one uh, the stronger metal will attack the weaker metal, thereby corroding it. That is why on outboard motors they actually install what's called a sacrificial plate, usually made by zinc plates, and they put that throughout the outboard uh, part of the drive shaft. And what it does is the plates actually will corrode before the outboard motor does. Um, and it's, it's a sacrificial plate. It gives something for the, the metal to attack. Otherwise, it's going to attack itself. Samsung has apparently been using this product, this, this inferior metal in this, and it's been a known product for now over 10 years. My guess is probably 15, maybe even longer years, and yet they still haven't fixed the problem. So, just so you know, oh, oh, and by the way, just in case you, you don't think I know what I'm talking about with this, you know, as far as my job, my first job in the Air Force was what was called corrosion control. So, um, you have uh, the anode and cathode. Uh, one is the, the stronger metals, the anode, and, then, and the weaker is the cathode. And they attack each other and uh, uh, when the electrolyte is introduced. And this whole unit had electrolyte in it, meaning that it had soapy water. So... Um, you know, just in case people think that I'm kind of BSing here on what that is. But as you can see, literally, it just destroyed itself. Uh, again, this is not a mechanical failure. This is actually a, uh, a chemical reaction uh, between the two metals uh, just interacting with one another and just deteriorating themselves. In, uh, and when, when that did that, you can see that this just is just totally loose and that is what's causing the out of balance so once again samsung front load washer my recommendation if you're looking to buy a front load washer do not buy samsung because they are keep on using this inferior metal and within probably less than 10 years this is what's going to happen. Actually, no, less than six years, this is what's going to happen. All right.